right, police body camera footage there of Ryan Routh's arrest. He is accused of plotting to assassinate former President Trump. Police say the suspect was outside of Trump International Golf Club in South Florida for nearly 12 hours before Secret Service spotted him. Routh is now facing two weapons charges, which carry up to 20 years in prison if convicted. More charges are, of course, likely. Joining me now, Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, Florida. Dave, uh, you've been on this case since the beginning. Um, I know that we're learning more about this suspect each and every day. Tell me about the initial court appearance and what we know, uh, know now about uh, Mr. Roth. Well, it's good to be back with you, Marnie. So the initial court appearance was pretty uneventful. The charges that were filed are low-hanging fruit, meaning I think they're the easy charges to uh, convict him on. The charge of obliterating a serial number of a gun, that gets up to five years in prison, and the possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. That's uh, an easy one because he's a convicted felon and he had a firearm. Check, check, and that will get you up to 10 years in prison. So that's why they started with those. They didn't want him to be able to walk out of jail. Now, the bigger question is, will there be other charges? I expect there to be some, perhaps aggravated assault with a firearm against a federal law enforcement officer. That'll get you up to 20 years in prison. That's when he allegedly pointed his rifle at the Secret Service agent. So I do expect more to come. I know people are talking about how he was joking with his lawyer. You know, the only thing I make of that in court is that he's used to going through this. Here's a guy who has a long rap sheet, previous felonies in North Carolina. So none of this is really that new to him. Anything else, Dave, about his background and his digital footprint um, that, that we have learned through this investigation so far and, and what he has said in the past? The guy really seems like he has a screw loose. He's a sense of megalomania. He's out there urging Elon Musk to you know get him a rocket. He's out there trying to get Afghans to fight for Ukraine. He's putting himself at the level of world leaders from Donald Trump to Kim Jong-un, you know? So he's someone who uh, really uh, believes that he's on their level. And so perhaps he decides to take matters in his own hands. Now, obviously he's not totally normal because normal people don't do crimes like this. But at the same time, doesn't mean he's legally insane under the law. To be legally insane, you have to have an established medical condition and not know the difference between right and wrong. Well, the fact that he fled after he was caught driving up on I-95, 45 minutes north of West Palm Beach to try to get away, shows you he knew what he did was wrong. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.